Hey, this is just a quick video done with my smartphone because uh, I was doing some work on the Pyra and I know some of you have asked how the uh, heating or the cooling works and uh, here's how we made it with uh, one of the developers units and which worked pretty well. This is the CPU board. This is where the CPU is located, which is uh, which gets really hot. And we've got that special self adhesive uh, copper material, which has the heatsink glued on top. This is the main board where the CPU board will be plugged in. And then we've got the case where we where the heatsink will be exactly in that space and fit perfectly here. So. This here is the space for the heatsink. We could put another one here as well. This is the uh, second aluminium plate that goes in between the CPU board and the case backside. So this one keeps the battery cool and this one moves the heat directly uh, into the heatsink from the CPU. Here's the CPU board without the main board on top. This is for keeping the battery cool and uh, a bit for heat dissipation. Um, this is the copper trace with the heatsink inside the USB port. A second heatsink could be installed here. So one that goes right there. Uh, tape that would go uh, that way as well would be great and maybe even on top of this one because this chip gets hot as well. This quick heating was all made with standard materials, so no custom made parts, a standard heatsink, a standard stripe, with even with a standard length, I got it like that. And we are currently uh, working on getting it a bit more optimized with a custom made heatsink and a custom made uh, stripe for the copper uh, heat pipe. And well, I'll keep you updated, but this one already works pretty well with just standard materials, which is awesome. See you soon at the boards.